Alright, so in this video we're going to start talking about um, perimeter and area. And if you remember correctly, back uh, when you had geometry in other classes, um, to find perimeter, all you do is add up all the sides, right? Okay, and to find area, you take the base and you multiply it times the height when you're talking about like a rectangle. Okay, so um, this uh, square that I have here, actually it's a rectangle because the sides are off, I guess. Um, in order to find the perimeter, okay, all you're going to do is take the sides and add them all together. Well, I only have two sides, but it's a rectangle, so you know that the opposite side is also 2, and the opposite side is also 3. So all you would do is do 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 3. Add those together, you get 5 and 5, which is 10. So the perimeter is 10. Now, <clears throat> when you're talking about polynomials now, this changes just a little bit. Um, and basically, um, solving it is exactly the same in that we're still going to add up all the sides, but when we're talking about polynomials, your sides are just going to get a little more difficult to work with. So instead of 2, we'll do 2x. And instead of 3, uh, how about we do something like 3x squared plus 4. And that would make the other side the same thing. So that instead of just the 3, would be 3x squared plus 4. So now it just becomes a little bit more difficult, right? It's nothing you don't know how to do already. You just got to make sure you put it all together. So we have 3x squared plus 4 plus 3x squared plus 4. I'm running out of room here. Let me see, maybe I'll shrink it down. Then we move it over, and we have uh, plus 2x plus 2x. And now we have all of our sides, so all you got to do now, combine like terms. Your 3x squared are going to go together, so now we have 6x squared. Our 2x's are going to go together, so we got 4x, and then our uh, fours are going to go together. So that becomes eight. <clears throat> and there you go. Um, that's all there is for a perimeter. Whenever they give you a figure um, and they give you lengths around the sides, all you got to do is just add up all the sides and your perimeter is done. Pretty simple steps. All right, so here's another example for you. Um, this is kind of an odd shaped uh, tra uh, trapezoid, but you get the idea. Um, so again, we're looking for a perimeter here. And basically, when you find perimeter, you just add up all the sides, right? So we have, I'm going to write 2x squared minus 7 plus x plus 2 plus x plus 2 and plus 3. Now you just go through, find your like terms. We've got x squared. We have minus 7, plus 2, plus 2, plus 3, and then we have a couple of x's. So, we add them up. So now, uh, like terms here, we have 2x squared. Uh, I'm going to jump to my x's next, so I don't have to move them around. So, 2x is there, so plus 2x. And then, negative 7 plus 2 is going to give you negative 5. And negative 5 plus 3 is going to give you negative 2. And there you go. There is your perimeter. Now this is a, sometimes that's kind of a hard thing for people to understand that that's your final answer. But really that, that is your final answer. A lot of times when you're looking for a perimeter, you're looking for a specific number. But in this case, when you have polynomials, that's it. That's all you got. So stick with that. All right. The next area is... Uh, the area, well, the next area is the area, hey. So here we're going to talk about the area. And if you remember back to find the area, you do your length times width or base times height, right? Okay, well, in this case, our base is 2, our height is 3, so all you do is multiply those together and you get 6. Okay, well, uh, when you're talking about polynomials, again, same thing, okay? I'm just going to make it a, just a little bit harder here. I'm just going to add an x to each one. Okay, so if we're going to find the area of this square or rectangle, 
you would get area equals 2x times 3x. 2x times 3x is 6x squared. Pretty simple. Okay. Now, let's take it up a step. So we're going to stay with those 2x and 3x, and in this, this time instead, I'm going to add a 2 there, and I'm going to add a 3 there. So, same exact steps. Okay, we still have to do base times height. So instead, though, we have area equals 2x plus 2 times 3x plus 3. And so now, what do we have to do, right? We have two binomials that we're going to multiply together. So we have to FOIL. Okay, just distribute to both. So 2x times 3x is going to give you 6x squared. 2x times 3 is going to give you 6x. Then we go 2 times 3 will give you 6x again. And 2 times 3 is going to give you 6. Then we combine like terms, and you end up with 6x squared plus 12x plus 6. And that's your answer. Okay, so it's no difficult, no more difficult than what you've done before with area. The only difference now is that you have you have uh, binomials and polynomials and so forth that you have to mess with. Um, let's do another one. Okay, so this time we have a square, and they only gave us one side. It's x plus two. Okay, well if you're talking about the area of a square, okay, remember you just do your side squared. Okay, so if you only have one side, it's squared. So if we put that in, we have x plus 2 squared. And remember, back when we talked about um, squaring a binomial, okay, remember you square the first term, so we got x squared. You square the last term, and that'll be the last, so 4. And then you multiply them together, so 2 times x. Okay, we'll give you 2x, and then you multiply that times 2. So your answer is x squared plus 4x plus 4. That's it. Okay, pretty simple. So again, area, very simple. Base times height, you just multiply uh, each side times uh, the base times the height and uh, multiply your binomials together, whatever you have. Let's try one more. So let's, let's make this one a little more difficult. Let's say this side is 2x plus 3, and the base is 3x squared plus 2x plus 4. Okay, so the same thing still though. So area still equals base times height. Now I'm going to do 2x plus 3 times 3x squared plus 2x plus 4 and now we have to distribute right so there you go distribute those out so 2x times 3x squared is going to give you 6x to the third 2x times 2x will give you 4x squared and 2x times 4 will give you 8x and we're going to do 3 times 3x squared will give you 9x squared and then 3 times 2x will give you 6x. And I'm going to run out of space here. Move it over a little bit. And then 3 times 4 will give you 12. So now we combine like terms. Okay, we only have one of those. We got 2x squared. We have 2x's. And we have one constant. I give you 6x cubed plus 13x squared plus 14x plus 12. And there you go. So that's how you do area. Okay, so you got perimeter. Remember, you add up all the sides for perimeter. If you're doing area, you multiply the base times the height. It's just that simple.